Hi, and welcome to ESL eBook, a series of daily videos designed to help you study English. Each day, there will be a new topic for you, a new lesson for you, and an exciting video for you to help improve your English skills fast. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the lesson because this lesson is about online education and it's video number three. Find out at the end of this lesson how you can get your free gold membership to study English with live ESL teachers for free. Now let's get studying and I hope you enjoy this ESL ebook daily video lesson. Now the title of this lesson is called is an online education right for you and what they're asking is will you like studying English do you like studying online we live in the information age now the information age is referring to the time right now in the world and some people say the information age is the time when the internet started because the internet made it very easy to send information around the world and when we have computers we use email rather than snail mail which is regular mail and we use instant messaging rather than small letters. We have grown so accustomed to information at the speed of light that the prospect of not having immediate access to countless numbers of facts and figures with the mere click of a few buttons for many of us is simply disconcerting. Now, a custom means you are used to it, you are comfortable with it, it's always there. Accustomed means we have grown accustomed to having light and electricity. You turn on the light in your house because you're used to it, always there. You're used to the electricity to plug in your computer and speed of light means really really fast the speed of light you cannot see it so it means it is going very quickly and immediate means right now another way to say immediate would be a s a P as soon as possible immediate disconcerting means uncomfortable disturbing not good you don't feel good when you don't have the information that you want right now that's what this sentence is saying from here to here for this reason, it only makes sense that there are many people across the nation and around the world that are embracing the idea of online learning and educational opportunities with every ounce of enthusiasm they can muster. So embracing means accepting, wanting it, liking it. They are willing to have it. To embrace it means that. Say they are wanting the idea of online learning. Opportunities means they are there are many different opportunities to do things like an opportunity could be a new job or a chance to study at a university or Another opportunity could be studying online. In 
enthusiasm could mean very exciting and very happy and to muster means to gather to collect or to create so in this sentence they're saying many people like the idea of online learning and all of the chances and choices that it has and they are very happy at the same time there are equal numbers of people around the world who are trying desperately to hold on to traditional methods of dealing with certain things desperately trying really hard really really hard they are working hard at doing something and in this case they are trying hard to not change and enter the information age in fact some people actually still play solitaire with a deck of playing cards solitaire is a computer game now before it was a card game the same cards that used that are used for poker for people who for people who feel that the information age has left them behind to some degree the chances are quite good that online learning may not be the best available option for you to some degree to some level to some amount it means that now they're saying there are three questions you should ask yourself if you would like to study online are you disciplined it means are you motivated do you need to be told what to do do you need a teacher to tell you how to learn or can you learn online very simple and easily and you like learning online how do you learn best do you have a true desire to succeed a true desire means in your heart you really want it in your heart you want to succeed or have what you are getting or trying for succeed means to finish and get what you want so if you are studying English online succeeding would mean you are becoming very fluent and you can speak English very well like a native speaker well there you have it this is the lesson uh, about online education number three if you enjoyed this lesson you might want to go to www.study-english-now.com to get your free gold membership and here you can get free ESL lessons with real ESL teachers and all you have to do is click on the button that says get your free ESL lessons now and again go to www.study-english dash now dot com well I hope you enjoyed this lesson and until next time my name is Steve and I am your ESL teacher thank you and have a good day